from start to finish, I want to show you a brand new feature that's exclusive to Mojo 2 Pro called Layout Mode. Now, if you want a more full-on tutorial than this hands-on one, there is a link somewhere up there that will show you how to load CSV files or manually input your predefined coordinates. But for today's purposes, all I'm going to do is look how quick this is. Rotate to turn on. That's what we do these days, and it works a treat. Select Layout Mode tap on my CSV file that's got its predefined points in there. If I want to see the shape that I'm going to set out, I press preview. I can see it now, press continue and align my device in the orientation of my reference line. That's all good. Wait for my light to go from red to green. Good to go. Let's do it. Okay. And then Wait for that light to change color again. Place it down here. Now you can see that I've locked my screen by the icon in the bottom right hand corner, which means that for the duration of me setting out, staking out, laying out, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to keep this device in the same orientation as this reference line. Let's move over here. 12, 13.6 foot, about here. I'm 4.2 foot away and this is the good thing Mojo 2 Pro is now taking me by the hand and guiding me to these predefined points 1.8 foot let's see how far we are and if I miss the target it helps me it redirects me to make these little minute adjustments inch by inch until I actually hit the spot which I've done now okay and then it redirects me onto my next point which is great because it's telling me, it's, I just have to do what I am told, which is unusual for me, but layout mode knows better than I, so I will do and follow the directions of these arrows. It's so easy. Now, when I said about the screen being locked, I could unlock it, and what that means is that it brings the, your auto-rotate to go on. It means that I rotate the phone in the direction of the arrow to hit those points. Some people like that. I prefer to keep my device parallel to the original reference line. Right, I've hit the spot, let's place my marker down and it's redirecting me 16 foot this way. Let's do it. Two point five foot. I'm getting lots of notifications, so I'm just gonna Put my flight mode on. 6.5 inches, nearly there. That's great. And then you're going to see, once I've touched down, layout mode is now directing me to go in this direction. Again, keeping my phone parallel, put my marker down, keep it parallel to my original line, move this way, 12.6 foot or thereabouts. So quick, so easy, so light. 1.2 foot, success, hit the spot. And when you first start with uh, layout mode, like any device, any new tool that you might get, there's always a bit of a learning curve. You're not gonna hit it off straight away, but you know, at first I kind of go slow. I'm a bit tentative. I get a bit more confident. I get in my flow, I get into the groove. And before you know it, I'm hitting the points far more regularly than I'm not. And that's all thanks to how layout mode, the, the interface is so user-friendly it's so intuitive and it really helps me find where I am spatially in this whole landscape. 12.6 foot, let's move this way. Place it down again. And I place it down safe in the knowledge that it's gonna redirect me. So I don't have to think too much. I guess the one thing is I just make sure I don't fall over myself because Mojo Pro 2 Pro here is doing all the heavy lifting. And this new feature, layout mode, is only possible thanks to the brand new uh, X2 Pro inertial sensor engine that's within this device, which improves the accuracy and the precision of Mojo 2 Pro and makes features like layout mode possible. 4.5 foot. there 
hit the spot again. And then let's move on to my next point. Let's see, maybe about here. Overshot it slightly. Hit the spot. And then it tells me to return to the start. Place my marker down. There we go. Okay, so this is a complex shape. And Mojo 2 Pro with layout mode has guided me from point to point. All I've done is just follow the arrows, place my marker down, and boom, I have this whole shape done with Mojo 2 Pro using layout mode.